So you could always, when you're drawing portions of the face, put a piece of acetate or a piece of tracing paper on top of a photo to look at, to see where things line up. And you could always draw these lines to help you line up your different features. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this photo to draw in the basic design on this egg shape. So if you look here, you'll notice that her shape, the shape of her head is typically wider at the top, house the brain, then pointer at the bottom um, for her chin. And so an egg shape is a really great shape to start with if you're drawing um, freehand. So what we're gonna do is place in the details of the face. So I'm going to divide this halfway because according to my notes, the halfway mark is where the eyes are going to lay. Okay. If I divide that up halfway again, that's going to be where the bottom of the nose is. And then about a quarter of the way down is where we're gonna have the mouth. So basically, we're gonna define this up into the five equal places so that we can place the eyes. And we can always mess with it a little bit. We can fudge it if we went a little too wide or too far apart. All right, until it's the right width. Okay, and then so from there, we can actually draw in the eye shape. So her eyes angle up and then they angle down they're a little bit rounded in the corner, then they dip down. So if you notice, right, the highest point is not quite in the center, the lowest point isn't quite in the center. So you would draw these in on both places. Okay, so then the nose lines up with the corners of those eyes and with Beyonce's nose, the tip of her nose hits this line, but then the wings of her nose actually go up a little bit higher. So you don't have to draw in anything up here because that's all in value. Then her lips line up, right, with the center part of her eye, okay? The top lip kind of looks like a flattened M The midline is even even a flatter M, and then her lips come down from there. Now she's smiling, and I didn't make her smile in this, but that's okay. At least that's where the proportions are. So then the eyebrows would be located somewhere around here. And so the ears are located on both sides, right? And they line up with your eyebrow and the bottom of your nose. And so then you would just draw them in. According to those proportions. And so just remember that this portrait right now is basically without hair. So the forehead and the hairline would be up like this. And then of course you could reshape the shape of the face to make it look more like the person. But these are the basic arrangements.